Hi everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. So today's video, as you can see from the title, is um, I'm going to do my craft room tour and then I'm going to do the unbox of my new AccuQuilt Go Big um, fabric cutter and some exciting news at the end of that, uh, at the end of this video. So, so um, without any further ado, I guess I will start at the door. So if you'll give me just a second, I'm going to move the camera as slow as I can to not make anyone sick if possible. So as you can see outside of the door, I have a bookshelf here. Okay. And it keeps a lot of my current books that I use for journaling, you know, journaling pages and stuff. And my top row up here is all my journals. And yes, I do use them. Okay. Um, you can probably also see I have a chalkboard. I have chalkboard paint on the back of that wall. And I put my some of my um, more favorite, or I shouldn't say more favorite, favorite Bible uh, verses there just to kind of keep me inspired. Um there is my Vagabond, and I have it plugged in back behind there, so then I can just turn it. There's a case with a lot of my dies. I still have a few more that need to go in there, and my washi tape. I have a cabinet or a little wall unit that keeps um, some of my things in there, like, uh, let's see, show you. I keep like my eyelets and my paper clips and stuff like that in this one. Um, this one's just got some extra ephemera in it. This one has like my heat tool and my trash bags and stuff like that. And these are all tags and different things. And this has ephemera. That one has ephemera and that one has ephemera. So <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. So, and then if you've seen on the back of my door here, back up a little bit um actually I'm going to turn the camera so that I'm going to turn it very slow here if I can and reorient <laughs> so that I can get it all in here okay so that's where I keep all my stabilizers and my interfacing and and my um stitch witch and all that stuff in there and I keep that organized there and then on the back of the door I have another shoe one and I keep my yarn my yarn and that kind of stuff in there and I can keep some other ephemera that's made up um, and then behind the door is my ironing board and I dislike the color of this room I don't like I know some of you like the teal but I am not it's gonna get repainted but not until everything is moved out into the new room and then I'll we'll repaint. So this dresser I pretty much use for, <laughs> everything has a craft overflow, right? So <laughs> here's my little crafting iron. I love this thing. It's got like a little um, silicone cover for it and it keeps so that I can set it on my ironing board and not burn it. I really love this little thing. And then I keep some of my ephemera in these little folders that I've made. Got a video on that. Some containers back here. Buttons. If That's just one, one chart buttons. Um, top drawer essentially just has more ephemera in here. Pattern books, papers. That's kind of the same. Um, down here I've got some more lace and stuff and waxing stuff, old um, threads, same thing with this one, the bottom one I use, um, as you can see, those are not fat, oh, sorry, 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 those are not fat quarters, those are just remnants, so I keep those in there um, for that, and then, um, let me kind of back up a little bit here, that whole top row, two rows there. That top row is all boxes and there's boxes inside those boxes. 
And then I keep some crafting supplies up in here and there's some um, interfacing and, or not interfacing, um, batting and stuff. And um, I think this one's got like um, paint brushes and this one might have, uh, uh, I can't remember. I think they're like those decorative scissors in that little round container go around. There's where I keep my beads. There's like crafting books, quilting books and stuff. Big old thing of sorry, and behind that sorry is a big long container full of my fabrics. Okay, and that's just the ones that I that are cotton. I have a whole another one that I've re put together that has like faux leather and lace and plush and all that stuff. So here's the new table, one of the new tables that I got. Um, this is for my AccuQuilt. Okay. Um, I want to turn this once again, if I can, without getting anybody sick, and I apologize if I do. All right, and that is what we're going to unbox today. Those are some dies. This caddy, essentially, it will roll out. There's space on the other side of it, back behind it, back here. Um, if you can see in here, that's the back side of it, so there's dies back there as well, and then... I, I I really like this table when they demoed it um, because this will sit right on here on the edge of this and when it comes out it doesn't go plonk it comes out onto this table portion here okay so all right we're gonna pass by the window oh you see the chickens see there's a couple of them <laughs> see things are starting to change and you can see the highway in the back back there Okay, so here is kind of like where I keep my cutting boards. I'm going to turn it once again. I apologize. I'm trying to keep it from getting anybody sick. I try to go kind of slow. This is my thread racks. <laughs> um, it, it, no, it's not full, but I do have some overflow like these here are extras. And then these are start. I'm starting to collect some of the grays too in there. Um, there's my sewing chair, and then on this wall I keep more batting. That's more for like my quilts. Um, some of those will, I'll be making um, bowl cozies and mittens, um, craft or uh, pot holders and that kind of thing to go into my Etsy. Um, then I've got extra thread here. This is all avocado dyed papers, oops, sorry, papers here. And then that there, I'll show you when we get closer to it over on that side, I keep all my die cuts in, okay? And then as you can see over here, this is, this is the huge table, <laughs> it's huge. I'm already in the corner back here and you can see it is, it's a huge, sewing table it's actually three pieces so that very far end here is the same piece as this which is um it has three drawers and the back flips up i have it down on this side over here but and then obviously it holds my machine and then the back side i can use the table either as for quilting space or cutting space or whatever um and then but i use it mainly for crafting there's my Cricut, and I finally did get a light box. <laughs> um, and then my printer's on the back side over there. You can see this is my camera set up here. I finally got it hooked up last night. This is the one for the sewing machine, and this one over here is for where I do my crafting. And then, oh, I think this thing is so cute. Let's see if I can open it here. Oh, I'll open it later. <laughs> Let's show it, guys. But uh, let's see, here's the sewing machine. This is the new one. Um, I guess I can turn it on. Well, I'll turn it on for you guys some other time maybe. I just don't wanna, you know, you guys wanna see what, what it is I do so and where I craft. I love this table because it has a lift. This lifts up and down so that I can put my embroidery hoop on it and I can also put it down to put this little acrylic piece in here and sit it flat. And then this, um, as you can see, it has hydraulics in it. So I can set my feet flat 
and not have any problems with sitting for long periods. It also has, I love this. Let's see if I can open it. it. Has a place for all of my threads. Well, not all of them, but <laughs> a good portion of it. And then on this side, let's see if I can sit down here. I hope this doesn't make anybody sick. <laughs> I have a place to put my hoop extension piece and my hoops all go in here. So it's beautiful storage. Uh, let's see. Oh, might have gone too fast. So in these drawers, I keep fabric. These are fat quarters, jelly rolls, that kind of stuff to do some crafting with. And I love these drawers because they have like those soft closing. This one, I keep all my extra attachment, feet attachment. And then here's the extender, accessory extender piece for the end of my machine. And then this one, I keep all my, this is the feet that came and the accessories that came with it that weren't extra. This is for uh, like putting an embroidery thread, like the big cones of it in there. Oh, all that stuff, you know, bobbins, that kind of stuff. In that one. And then let's head on to this side. This one, these are for projects that I am going to be working on here shortly. So like the bowl cozies. And then I have um, Crafty Cat's uh, fabric journal covers there. And that one. This one's got cutting supplies and my little mini iron and fabric folding and marking and all that stuff in there. And then this one's kind of a messy drawer because it has like all my needles. It keeps all my clips in there. And then this has got like all my pins and needles and stuff in there. Always have to have a messy drawer, right? <laughs> it can't be 100%. Okay, so let's move around. Apologize if it makes anybody sick, but I am trying to do this, you know, kind of quickly here. All right, so on the back side of the table, you can see there's storage room underneath, which I like, is where I keep my printer. This is an Epson um, 3750, um, the Eco uh, Tanks, which I love because Believe it or not, I've I've only bought, I've had it now, I want to say close to two years. And I've maybe gone through a full set of bottles once, and I'm on my second set. So, but um, essentially, this is where I do all my crafting, you know, my videos. I uh, keep stuff up here. Here is that. Um, and I got these at Michael's. So, but I, let's see if I can take it down, do all my die cuts, and then I mark what's in them in, in like each one of these. And then that way I have a place to put them and store them neatly. And then I can put them right back right there. <laughs> uh, inks, I got little, I hung those on the wall to keep all my oxide inks and stuff in there. Keeps them kind of organized. It, believe it or not, it, I still am messy. Like, all this is messy, but I use it continuously. So, that's like my ink and my stamper pads and my snack. <laughs> my pearls, my little flowers, all that. And then over here is my kind of my overflow. It's got papers and anything that I might want to grab for uh, ephemera for grab. Uh, immediately you know that I can use and then same thing here these are kind of more ribbons that I would use more frequently the box underneath is for the new journal that I'm working on now um, and then like I said I've just got drawers of ephemera stickers markers um, paper and then these have wooden block stamps the middle one has all of my um, uh, embossing folders and the and bottom has more stabilizer in there obviously there's my trash there's my 
paper overflow, extra scraps, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all my cutters and my, my printer ink and paper and stuff like that go down there. Then this one has um, all of my We Are Memory Keeper, like my scoreboard, my crocodile, my uh, tab maker, all that. And the upper one has like um, extra blades for my, for my cutters um punches all that stuff so and then here's my computer desk it's not a typical desk it it is the bottom of like a a dish um rack i guess like <laughs> one of those so the top was not put together correctly i have the bottom so i use it as my computer desk and you can see outside there's some cows over there that's what i get to look at <laughs> And I love it because it's very quiet and peaceful. All right. And then here is the messy closet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn it so you can see long ways in here. All right. So let's see if we can turn this. Ooh, okay. So <sighs> up in the top, <laughs> there's... All my paper pumpkin ones, I quit getting them because I was just, I wasn't using them enough. I liked having the stamps out of them and stuff, but, and then most of those, like I've got playing cards in that one and just overflow stuff, you know, ribbon on their um, napkins. This is where I keep all my extra supplies like glue and my binder clips, my acrylic paints, more napkins, um, you know, Mod Podge gesso paint or polish remover and then here is where i've started i've got some binders coming to do um to keep these in these are all my stamps and i bought some more organization folders for those um oh, my snack imagine that <laughs> my paint brushes and my watercolors are behind um and then here are some cabinets that I got from Michaels to um, also the uh, paper, you know, to keep my paper pads in. Let me show you. And then that way I can keep the full 12 by 12 inch in there. And they're nice and neat. And then I have, uh, I have these extra ones uh, from a broken one that came in. And... Um, I'm just using those for uh, loose paper once I get it out because that's where this stuff is all loose. I'll be putting it up in there. Um, and pretty much, I mean, that's the craft room. <laughs> uh, so, I, like I said, it's it's I've got overflow in another room. My spare room has some overflow in there. The room that we're going to be moving into is going to be much bigger. Um, I don't want to say it's double the size, but it's probably a size and a half. So it will allow me to like open this completely up and then I'll put another table for cutting and that kind of stuff in there. Like, you know, paper cutting and all that. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then set up the camera to do the unboxing of this because I can't wait to do that. I want to play with it <laughs> and um, get some uh, fabric out and so we can play a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm so ready. <laughs> All right, I pulled out some red, white, and blue fabric just to play with this thing. It comes with, it's a starter set. So it came with, um, it is an electric uh, fabric cutter. Um, a flying geese die and a cutting mat and a pattern and idea book so um, which is awesome because it's always great to have some extra things in there so let's see if we can get this bad boy opened up here um, I am not yet an affiliate of Aquaquilt um, I've seen it demoed on numerous things. I've seen videos of it. Um, so I really was excited to get this. Um, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> um, but I, I, right now, no, I am not an affiliate. I may become one later if I really enjoy playing with it. Um, 
It says, okay, stop. Read the, make the cut user, user's guide before you use your go big. Okay. All right. So this apparently has some stuff in it. I'm just going to pull it out of the box. Ooh, it has a nice um, little cover for it. I do like it that. I'm all about keeping, trying to keep my stuff protected as much as possible. Sorry about that. All right, so, ooh, look at this. That's a little dirty, but that's okay. It can be washed, right? It's just an outer cover. Tended to keep it from getting all yucky bucky. All right, so. Okay. Set that aside. I like that because I can put it over the top and keep it from getting all dusty. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Let me make sure you guys can see. Okay, yeah. Push that back. I guess we have it. We can open it this way. All right. So, um, this feels like it's the book pattern and idea book. This is a flying geese pattern. Okay. Um. A six by 12 cutting mat so it's very similar to the vagabond or the big shot um, except for this one is designed just for fabric because I, if any of you have seen like the steel dies that um, that Tim Holtz put out um, it's very similar they're still cut so that they'll cut through fabric very very easily okay and then this is our power cord stuff. Ooh, big cord. And they do make these in Go so Baby, which is small. Kind of like the Big Shot does. You know, they have the, the Sizzix. And then they have um, the Big Shot and all that stuff. It's it's kind of this along the same lines, I think. So, all right. So, it says... You read the guide manual. <sighs> okay. I don't know if it's in here. I'm going to assume that it is. Go with the grain. It tells you. Place, press, and done. Uh, there's the dust cover, all that stuff. Okay, so, and then my warranty stuff, which I always fill out. I always do because um, this gives you the instructions, how to use it. Um, it even tells you like how many layers. So like if you're gonna use cotton, you can use up to six layers, cotton with fusible web, uh, four layers, uh, the um, Batix you can use, um, six fleece to flannel to um see and it says cut only one layer with the rag dies you know um if you're using like a rag uh it, they've got one a die for like rag quilts and stuff so it tells you down and it'll cut denim leather wool batting felt and silk and that's awesome because as a crafter you don't have to sew to use this and you don't have to put the stress because you know your big shot is intended only for paper and it it will cut it will cut fabric if you do cut cotton but you got to run it through a few times and boy that stinks when your blade you know on those dies just get dull from all that you know and honestly I'm not sure how you would um get that sharpened you know, <laughs> so, all right, this is fun, guys, I love this, okay, so obviously this side has to stay up here, we'll take our prong off, and pull 
it in plug it in plug it in you guys remember that commercial <laughs> okay let me get down here on the floor oops sorry <laughs> get that plugged in let me make sure we're readjusted because i know i hit that i apologize for that sorry 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 I'm using a tripod I don't normally use. I got it to um, make this video. I have another one that kind of clamps, which I probably should have used for this, but I didn't have a like a selfie stick. So this, essentially this is like a selfie stick with a, um, <laughs> with a uh, tripod, so, okay. Let me figure out where it plugs in. Probably should read the instructions. But there it goes, right there. Alright. Okay. I'm not sure I like the fact that this does not give a whole lot of cord to go from here to here. Don't like that. Oh, my biggest fear is it's going to pull out of the wall. Okay, so let's see. How does it open? Well, let me get the instructions, huh? <laughs> okay. Because uh, I have not, I've only seen it completely open and used, um, There's a power button on here somewhere. I do believe this is gonna lay well. I feel kind of dumb. Okay, there we go. All right. So if you look at it this way, I think you guys can see. Okay. Yeah. So. What we're going to do is we will feed it. This is why I don't like that cord because it is not going to be long enough. I would have to set this up here. I don't like that. That is one thing I do not like. Now I'm going to have to continuously monitor. Um, but this, well, I guess it'll be out of the way. That's good. Now, can you guys see? Oh, yeah. Perfect. So it goes in here and out the other. There's an on off button. Okay. So we've got it turned on. And then we're going to take our die. which is a flying geese, which is triangles. Okay. Let me get it out of the container here. And they give you cutting tips uh, for, the, for your dies. It tells you what direction your fabric should go. Um, it also tells you that in the instruction book. Um, for this one, I'm not going to go too, too crazy, but if you look, there's the triangle and then two half square triangles, so, to make your side, because this would go in the, this is the geese, the goose, and then one piece would go here and one piece would go here. So you can use, like, a white, and you always want to make sure, that's one thing I do know about these, are... You want to make sure that your fabric sits over the the um, edge of the um, die. So let me cut this here. Okay, like that. But we don't want it to cut over that. So 
you can, I, it would have been better if I had it ironed, but we're just playing for now. I'm just going to flip this this way. You should do it where your fabric is. I think it's supposed to set pattern side up. Um, and then we want, oh, let's go with a blue one, a blue piece, right? So normally you would pre-cut your your um, piece out, but you know whatever layers that you you want to do. So. And we're just playing. <laughs> you know, we're just playing. We can hang over. We just don't want it to cut. You could layer it over if it needed to, I guess. So, and then I'm gonna have to get me like one of those little cut things so I can keep my scissors and all that stuff in here. When it comes with each one of your, um, not every die comes with this. The sets come together with your pieces. You can go to AccuQuilt.com and they are a US based um, uh, company out of Omaha, Nebraska, which I think is awesome. And so you just set that on there and it, and it just, it recognizes it. It's going to run it through. Kind of like the Vagabond does. It's all, you know, electric. So you don't want to use your pieces to extend the life of your dies, but look at that. Now I have a piece that's already cut the way I need it to sew. And then I would sew this piece to here. And then this piece to here. And then I would have one flying geese block. So all my blocks are included in that. Isn't that just awesome? The great thing is you can use these for felt. So they have different pattern ones. Here, let me show you what that means, what that kind of looks like. Okay, on this one. Okay, so like I have the Flor de Lis, I think de Lis, de Lis, whatever. Um, and it's an applique piece. Um, the great thing is, if you have a machine, an embroidery machine, you don't have to sit here and satin stitch. You could. If you don't have an embroidery machine, you could satin stitch all the way around it. But when you buy this die, they give you a free download with it, embroidery download, so that you can um, follow the pattern. I mean, it's it's that it's awesome. It is so cool. They have different ones, and then they give you also online free patterns. For the block for the dies that you buy so when um if you're interested in it and you buy dies and every one that you buy will tell you this uh, these are the patterns that are associated with it okay isn't that just so cool you guys want to see it again yeah i want to do it again <laughs> it's fun all right let's make one big white piece here I mean, I can go over it. You can do up to six pieces. It's okay, because I will use these pieces for scrap whatever, right? I have got it. Like I said, I have, you see my overflow. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I'm a, fa a fabricaholic. If I see fabric and I like it, I will, I, I, I don't need it, but I will end up buying it anyway, because I'm crazy like that and I love this desk because it has a little drawer okay so let's put a piece of this on here red all right I mean you can make a red white and blue flying geese you know like these are more like the Americana colors and normally you would um like I said you would cut this I'm just doing it uh, you would cut it much easier <laughs> or much better um and that's going to cut over the top but that's okay 
because I'm just playing for now. I would iron my pieces out and I would have all of that, you know, preset because I would already know what size um, I'm going to need for those blocks because they will tell you. Um, let me see if I can find the booklet here. I do believe it tells you for... Uh, on the back see it says what you can what will you create and they've got different patterns that's just a few um it tells you what the finished size is um the additional dies that you can use to make that the fabric required and how much how many yards you'll need of batting everything um and it says that this die cuts one six inch finished quarter square triangle so that means it's um and two three inch finished half square triangles. So you will create a three by six inch finished flying geese unit. So you already know what size it is, right? Remember, this does flannel, it does felt. So if you're looking for, you don't even have to sew. If you're just looking for something because you want to put a geometric pattern or whatever, I mean, I have the hexagon one now because, you know, hexagon is, um, is, a uh, is, a uh, uh, honeybee. You know what I mean? That's what they use. So that's awesome. I love it. All right. So we have got, see, it overlapped and it cut that one piece, but I can just chuck it away. We've got one piece here and then this piece, like I said, it would go here. Right, and then this piece would go get sewn there, and you would have a flying goose. Ta da! Now, so, and of course, you can, you're gonna, it's just like any other die, you know, you can get paper or you can get fabric in there, and they make a little handy tool. I'll find my tool here. That digs all. It looks like something you find at the dentist's office. So if you're really good friends with your dentist, he, maybe you can get one, a used one or something from him. But otherwise, I mean, these aren't too expensive. They're like $6, I think is what I paid for it. But it gets in there to get all your fabric pieces out. And I just think that that is amazing. So, duh, I love this thing. This is going to save me, believe it or not, hours. Because I have spent, there are times when you, if you've ever quilted, you will know that sometimes when you, um, when you sew a, when you're cutting, when you have to cut fabric, oh my goodness, how exhausting and exasperating it can be to sit here and cut and to cut and to cut and to cut, right? So, um, I don't think I need to keep all of that. And then what, you know, the great thing is, is if you store them sitting straight up, right? They tell you what it is right there on the, so you can just stack them. And I think that's awesome. So, but it is, um, I just think it's amazing to be able to, um, to get this done. Because like I said, um, when you're quilting and you're cutting, I could spend a whole day just cutting my pieces for the first day I quilt, you know. And then, then by that time, you're kind of like, oh, really? I don't want to do that. Okay, so the only good thing is... I can store this down here when I'm not using it. And then I can put my dust cover on it, right? And keep my dust off of it. <laughs> I like that. So I can just keep it like that. And then I have the great thing. I have this extra space for something when I'm not using it, right, for cutting or doing whatever. So, all right. Now, here's the exciting news, you guys. Okay, you ready? 
Are you ready? I don't know. Are you sure? Come on. Are you ready? Okay. So, I have for you guys, because I know that not all of you crafters that um, are on my channel all my are sewers. And I'm not trying to force you or make you a sewer. Because, you know, let's face it, if you're not comfortable with it or or you know even if it if you're trained and you're just you know some people just don't they're not interested in it this is an amazing tool to have even if you're just going to cut felt with it or flannel with it or you want geometric shapes that you can glue onto your journals or inside your journals or whatever right because they have a multitude of dies at, if you go to AccuQuilt.com right now, they have huge black sale, Black Friday sales on going on right now. However, I don't want you to go run out and go buy one of these yet. Why? Because I have four. That's right, four of these to give away on my channel, and we are going to do that. I am going to draw for that because you know we're doing the um the Black Friday giveaway. So we can't do it on the same day. I'd love to, but I decided I was gonna, and I thought about it, but I decided I'm gonna do this um, on December 7th, which will give um, plenty of time to get it to you. All right, I am opening this to US residents, including those in Guam, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, Alaska, APO, FPOs, any military overseas, I, you know, that has an APO, FPO, American address, I will ship it to. Fortunately, because of customs and because of all the issues that are going on, you know, outside of the U.S., even to Canada, I cannot open this to my Canadian or my European or Asian um, community. And I apologize for that, guys. Um, I was going to try and do something before, but unfortunately we got scammed out of that and that kind of, it was a, a little upsetting. However, so I have four of these total, all these prizes, cause I, there's going to be things that go with them. Okay. Total prizes are worth $742 and some change. Okay. So big deal, big deal. Okay. This is the hand cranked one. It is not electric. However, the only dies that these typically will not take, um, there are ones that are for silhouette, which is a big industrial one, which, you know, or these larger ones. See, like this one has the bowl. Okay. Obviously, that's not going to fit through that. So you have to get a big one for those. But this one will take any of those, like the flying geese that was in there. It will take, um, like... I have this six inch go, it, it's a mix and match block, and these have blocks inside of them. They will fit in there. So you can do any of the block systems. I like the block system because there are a multitude of different things you can make with that. This um, has a pattern book, okay? It's a starter kit, and I have four of them, okay? Four, four lucky winners. Starter set includes the Go Me fabric cutter, which is this. It has uh, two Go um, dies, and those dies are, let me see if I can see which ones they are in here. I'm pretty sure it said, uh, oh, the three inch finished half square triangle. So like those two square triangles like um, on the flying geese. Oh, uh, let's see if I can find them. These, the half squares, uh, which look like, let me find the other one. Here it is. That's a half square, okay, because it's a square cut in half. And then one quarter square, which are four triangles that put together equal four. Um, four, to, four triangles put together make a square. Dar. <laughs> And they're both three inch, so they come with dies in them already. 
and then five creative patterns in here that you can use with those dies. Okay, so you give it a try. It's simple. These are very, very simple. And it has, like I said, it has a free pattern and idea book included in here. Okay, just like that one had the pattern and idea book, you'll have the same, I do believe, book in there, which gives... Um, it tells you how much you, fabric you need and how to sew it and the pattern. And, you know, I think if you guys are interested in learning to sew, I can do some basic sewing stuff just to kind of get you acclimated. And But I'm telling you, making a quilt, piecing it is more, um, it's more, the more difficult part, I think, than sewing is. And I understand that not everybody sews, so, and it, and it seems like that, but I'm telling you, this can be used for other than, <laughs> and there are tons of quilts, and they the website is on here, accuquilt.com, right? So when you go on there, you'll also get a, it'll have a warranty card to register and warranty your, your item, and then you can go in there and say, I already own these two dies, check, check. Right, and there's also an app for your phone so you can track what dies. I always keep my dies in there so I know so I don't buy them again because I made the mistake before then and I have two of the same square dies, which fine, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, so four. So, what do you get with this four? So, each one is different, so pay attention. This is where you got to pay attention, right? So, A will be the go me and i am going to i have a brand new a will be the go me with a flying geese that i demonstrated on the the go uh big okay that we demonstrated today so not only you're going to get those patterns in there you're going to get these and no they are not this these are not the same size these are um a uh, a three and a half and a six and a half inch. So this triangle is bigger than than that one. Okay. So um, although I do believe the half square on here is the same one as the half square on this, but it's all in one die. So if you were gonna do it, you get it. So that is A. Okay. That's what you're gonna get with A. That one is a hundred and ninety nine ninety eight dollar value on that. Okay. And then B, let me see, um, I have, if I can find it, okay, I'm going to have to, um, with B, it has a snowflake die, and it's sitting over here somewhere, I don't know where it, it fell back behind the thing, so I'll have to get it, but anyways, if you go back, I will list it below you can go to accuquilt.com and look at the snowflake die 55359 is the die number on it okay that's 184 98 dollar value with with this so it'll it'll be a snowflake gosh darn it it's back behind there <laughs> it's in in here like in the in the thing so and i don't have to pull all that out right now i forgot to pull it out and put it with it. it's brand new in the container never used all right so then number c or number c letter c is a go me it has um the quilt in a day Go cube mix and match block quilt. Okay, so you can do six, eight, nine, ten, and twelve inch blocks. They have like block sets, like I was showing you that six inch block set. Okay, they have these block sets that you can purchase. It has all the different dies. But the great thing about these is there is a pattern, a couple patterns in here, I think, for flying geese. Um, on here, and she is an amazing woman, Eleanor Burns. I've had, I had have quite a few of her original books, a quilt in the day books before she was using these. And I'll tell you, she does, her instructions are breezy. They're very, very easy. So you got that book and felt a fabric pack, five fat quarters, Christmassy flannel. 
with that, okay? And that one is $182 value on that one. Oh. And I don't have to keep pulling them up and picking them up, so I'm just leaving one down here because I have all four. <laughs> all right, so, and then the last one, which is D, okay, is the Go Me with a 20 fat quarter fabric pack, all in blues, okay? So it all has blues. There's 20 fat quarters in this fat, fat quarter pack. <laughs> so there's plenty to do with this, okay? So, and this one's $174. Uh, 99 so about $175 value on it. So, with that being said, let me, I'm going to pull all this up real quick. All right, and then, uh, so, don't forget that we're going to do this on December 7th. So, here's some rules. So, what I need you to do, and this is where I need you to pay attention, all right? December 7th. I'm not sure what time of day I will draw. I may draw four separate ones. I may draw two separate ones, three, four, I don't, I, one. I don't know. It'll just be sometime throughout the day on the 7th of January, or I'm sorry, December, 7th of December 2021, before Christmas. Okay, you must be 18 years of age to enter. You must have a U.S. address. Okay, and that includes Guam, Puerto Rico, um, APO, FPO. Okay, this is where you need to leave a comment on this video down below, okay, down below, and just with, okay, if you want to leave additional comments, you can, you can go back, but I need you to, because I'm going to filter and only pull those comments that are listed, um, how you want them. So if you want prize A to be your first choice, you would put A. And then let's say you wanted C, then it would be comma C, then B or D. So this, see if I can, you guys can see it, is how I need you to put it on here. So if you want it in order, A comma B comma C comma D, that is how you would like those prizes in, in how you would like it. So if you don't want the flying geese, but you like the fabric pack and, and that's the one you want, you would put D first, then your second choice, your third choice, your fourth choice. And I will be filtering. So if you add anything else to that, it will not, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna generate. Okay, it, well, it shouldn't generate. So all I need is A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D, comma, in whatever order you want for the prize. Okay, it can be C is first, D is first, B. I hope you understand that. So, anyway, and then if you want to leave a separate comment on the video, you can. Please do. Please feel free. That's okay. It's just this way. I don't have somebody, you know, just going in there and saying hi, and they're actually they've actually looked at the prizes. They see what they want, and you know what I mean. And this will also tell me. The first person I pull, they'll get their first choice. The second person I pull will get, if their first choice was the same as the first person's, I'll go to their second choice. Or if they had a separate first choice, they'll get that one. Do you see? So, and then of course, all the additional remaining, you know, you must leave a comment on this video. Um, I would really prefer that you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, I know it seems like a lot of giveaways this this but you guys have given to me for the last couple of years so much inspiration you have no idea and I want to be able to give that back to you guys I really do so this is why I'm doing this because I love you guys not for any other reason I could care less if I don't get any additional subscribers I don't care that's not what this is about this is about giving back to you guys because you guys have given me you have no idea so much so um i hope you guys really like this this is super exciting for me i love this this i've wanted one for the longest time i think since they've come out i've wanted one and you know i just 
Mm, I hummed and I hawed and I hummed and I finally just said, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing my craft room upright. I'm doing it the way I want to do it. I'm done hooming and hawing. And so I thought this was a, be a perfect way this holiday season to, you know, because I don't celebrate Christmas, but that doesn't mean that I cannot give gifts of love. Okay. And this is what this is. A love and appreciation to all of you. Because I do love each and every one of you. You're all individual. Y'all give me different inspiration. And I love ya. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys will enter. I hope you guys are excited. Um, like I said, 7 December, we'll do the drawing periodically throughout the day on there. And um, once again, um, A is the go me with the flying geese. B is the, um, will be the snowflake die, which I will... Um, I will list the die number in there if you want to go look at what it is. I apologize that I don't have it out. I don't want to pull this out to get it just yet. So, but I promise I do have it. So you will get it. Um, uh, and the C is the quilt book. It's the quilt book and the fabric, the flannel stack. And then D is the go me and the big fabric pack 20 fat quarters all right be a great addition to your stash or even just to play around and and do whatever in so anyways guys i'm glad you joined me i hope you guys liked my tour um you know uh it's a small room it's not glamorous and all you know whatever but i like what it, it suits me and my needs and that's what's important and that's what's important to you guys is that you find something that suits your needs and not what because everybody else has whatever you know you gotta you gotta make it work for you so anyways guys thanks for joining i hope you'll enter my wonderful giveaway <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> And I love each and every one of you guys. Plenty of hugs, loves, and blessings. And until next time, guys, bye.